So this one is called spotlights. Immeasurable. The amount of times I've tried to write to commemorate your life. Immeasurable too. The amount of times I have failed. But the other day, my friend pulled into his garage and I saw a wall of sauerkraut lined in front of us. I couldn't help but think of the traditional meal you shared with your daughter and her family, no matter how much I hated it. So I decided to try another time. I still called grandma yesterday morning in efforts to make the day less about me. It doesn't work as well anymore now that you're gone. I tried to be happier, but I couldn't stop thinking of how lonely your last years must have been so far away from the family you created and provided for. I wish I had visited more often, and I'll always regret that fact, but I hope you're happier now. I've often wondered if you asked to keep your scars and tattoos. I think you would. The idea that those make you but don't have to break you seems like one you lived by. Sometimes I still pretend to run my fingers over your arm, the sunken flesh ought more than a memory to you, another story. Each prick of ink along your arms, I wonder what you think of my brother. I hope you'd laugh at the exasperated size of my parents with the reveal of each new mark. I, I think he does it in part for you. You saved him more than I think you knew. You saved us all, that child buried deep inside your broken and weary body, brought us joy, I hope you now understand. Your stoic persona lives on through your wife. She is so strong. She is the reason I will never believe the lie that women are weak. She is stronger than any man I know, and I'm sorry I couldn't figure myself out in time to give you a granddaughter-in-law and a great-grandchild. I'll think of you every time I teach my child a new skill. I will always attribute my love of the smell of freshly cut wood to you. Those days I would sit in your garage and watch your calloused hands slowly measure each line and curve, move to the saw and create shape upon shape out of blank slates. I guess this is my carpentry. I never got the chance to show you. I wonder if you'd appreciate it. You were never one for many words. Now I'll never know your thoughts on how they're becoming my world. I hope I'm living a life you can brag to your friends about. Maybe we can laugh about it over a beer and a Steve McQueen movie someday. Until then, I'll keep the sawdust swept from the, from the garage floor like you always let me. Thank you.